Hello, welcome back to Daily Dose of Stocks. Today I'll be talking about a SPAC, which is BFT or Fully Transamine. It's on the New York Stock Exchange, so it's not a penny stock. You can buy it on pretty much any brokerage, and they're up a good amount in the past couple months, about 60%, I think. Right now, they're up 58%, and this is in, there in the past year, three months. 58%. It's only been out since October, and I'll, that's like with a lot of new specs that are coming onto the market. I think there a lot of new specs are coming out onto the market because a lot of companies are seeing how great it could be to merge with other companies for their stocks. So the CEOs of the companies are probably looking for other companies to merge with, which is a smart thing to do. And an interesting thing I wanted to note here with BFT stock is that you could, if you're looking at the volume, we can see that as it goes up, the volume gets higher, but when it's going down, the volume gets lower. So a good indication of when a stock's going to drop is when their volume is lower. So we can see negative 171,000, negative 1.1 million, and then we had a big drop, smaller drop, a little bit of a drop. And then here we had a volume of 52 million. Look at this spike. So as long as it's not people selling, then it's a good indication of when a stock can go up a lot. Okay, so BFT is a SPAC, which means Special Purpose Acquisition Corp, which means it's a company that has money and they're looking to merge with another company to supply money to them in something called a merger. So the two companies are merging together. So BFT, as I mentioned before, up 60%. So their market cap is 2.86 billion. So it's, it's a good amount. And the company that they're going to be merging with is a gambling payment company called Paysafe. And their BFT is going to supply $9 billion to Paysafe in exchange for merging together under the new name Paysafe. So I don't, I'm not sure what the new ticker is going to be. And looking at a buy into BFT, now is a good time. The merger has been announced, so after they switch the name, it will usually go up. So RMG, the vote, I don't know what, what RMG be you. Go, let me go back for a second. RMG. No. Oh, it's RMO, my mistake. So RMO, which used to be RMG, Romeo Power, was a SPAC. Now they're at over $22. But I'm going to show you in the past month, they hit an all-time high. And their high was 38.90. And when they merged, they merged with Romeo Power, which makes batteries for electric vehicle companies, like Workhorse happens. So I believe that... I, list, I invested a little bit into Romeo. Obviously, it's down now. And the reason why is because when the contract gets announced, if Workhorse does receive a part of it, then RMO will thus go up from it. So here is, I think, let me find January 20th. Here's January, no, that was, I mean, December 20th, I think was the merger date. I'm not sure. Anyways. So, after the merger date, we can see a huge spike, and then a big drop. Look at the volume. It kept going down here. Minus 10 million shares sold, 7.5 million shares bought. In. So, it's a good indication of when a stock's going to go up, as I mentioned. Here, we minus 3.8 million, plus 9 million. So, and the announcement... Just when they changed it, the people already knew from probably around here that it was going to merge. That caused a huge spike. Look at that. It's quite interesting. Okay, so this is why I think that BFT is a buy now with the merger. It could easily match RMG with the pre-merger. They kind of seem to have a similar thing. So... Remember to subscribe, as only about 15% of people who watch my videos are subscribed. So if it's you who's not subscribed, which it most likely is, make sure to subscribe as it really helps the channel. Remember, buy two stocks and call me in the morning.